Good day, collective. This is a full moon lunar eclipse spread for my high vibrational Capricorn collective. Remember to take what resonates, leave what does not. Personal healing and ascension messages are available. Click the link in the description box. Feel free to join my members only community for $5 a month here on YouTube. Thank you to my supporters that have joined. What does my high vibrational Capricorns need to focus on? This is for the next two weeks, high vibrational Capricorns. You all need to focus on the Six of Swords energy. Listening to your own intuition, staying connected to your higher self as your spirit guides move you to calmer waters. Focus on what happens after conflict, the peace that you receive, okay? That's what you need to focus on. Let's clarify the Six of Swords with the Hoodoo Tarot. Ancestors of my High Vibrational Capricorn Collective, clarify the Six of Swords more in depth for them. You have the Eight of Swords. You all have been stuck in your head, spiritual jail, feeling insecure. So focus on moving out of that energy. Now in the Hoodoo Tarot book, the reading for the Eight of Swords is as follows. And remember when you're reading tarot, they're portals. So use the books that come with them to get the meanings and energy from the deck, okay? It says a man stands in the middle of the crossroads with two knives stuck in the ground at the entrance of each pathway. Crossroads are considered powerful places where the physical and spiritual worlds meet. You've been believing in yourself again and empowering your thinking, being productive. You've realized you are your own worst enemy and liberating yourself from the victim mentality. If some of you have been feeling unable to move or having communication with others, focus on the energy that happens after after that leaving the troubles behind moving on going with the flow and creating a new attitude okay death rebirth and transformation there's also an ending for individuals that are going to have to walk away from being stalkers because they know victory and success is coming as judgment for those that have been being gang stalked or stalked in general. What do my high vibrational Capricorns need to release this moon cycle, this full moon eclipse in Taurus? You have the two of cups. Some of you are gonna have to release relationships. Some of you are gonna have to release codependency on people, whether they're friends or family. Ancestors, clarify the Two of Cups, please. The lovers in reverse, that codependency energy, that manipulating energy, wanting to have control over people, whether, again, that's friends and family and coworkers, anybody that was seen as compatible. If you are the person that's manipulative, petty, and jealous, individuals are going to be releasing you. And vice versa. Lovers in reverse. Binding rituals are going to be lifted this full moon. So high vibrational Capricorns, review your ethics and make an honest assessment of the road that you're choosing because it's time to make a choice. What energy do they need to draw in? Six of Pentacles. Reciprocity. What you give is what you get. 
if you've been sending out illness and sickness, that's what you're going to get. If you've been spending resources on high vibrational things, that's what you're going to get. So draw this energy in, the Six of Pentacles energy. Some of you are drawing in a gift and resources for stability. You all, Some of you will be getting good news, if not all of you, High Vibrational Collective. Yeah, you are. In some shape, form, or fashion. Remember, gifts aren't only material. Very well spiritual, okay? And the more good karma you put out, that's what you receive. So draw in positive energy. Draw in good vibes. You're not energy vampires. You're high vibrational. Ancestors, clarify the Six of Pentacles. You have the Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, an idea. Some of you are going to get an idea and decide to withdraw from situations, people, places, and things. No one can tell you what's best for you to do because you are the only person walking in your two shoes. As a tarot card reader, I can advise you from an intellectual standpoint. Drink some ashwagandha herbal tea if you have any. High vibrational Capricorn, your ancestors want you to understand they're protecting you. <laughs> they're protecting you some people that you had love for you would never have known that they were enemies but now you know now you have foresight and can make wise choices facing your fears triumph over challenges and use your own mind power to get these breakthroughs with the six of pentacles Some of you, if your left hand start itching, you already know it's money on the way. Some of you all may get loans, approved for loans, might have some debt forgiven, receive grants. Either way it go, draw in the energy of fairness and help others as well. If you do sex work and you're doing it for high vibrational purposes, you're going to get a sugar mama or sugar daddy that's that's going to help you. Clarify what's emerging from my high vibrational Capricorns. You have the two of pentacles. Balance of your responsibilities here in the material realm and the spiritual realm. Thank you. I take a lot of pleasure in what I do. Even though some people be watching my channel looking like this, you still go get this healing. Ancestors, clarify the two of pentacles. What's emerging from my high vibrational Capricorns? You have the Knights of Wands. Rapid movement. To an Aries masculine, you're going to have some type of rapid uh, movement coming towards you. You've seen it in the dream state. Stay grounded. Get you some ashwagandha tea. I'll make sure to put a link in the description box as an Amazon associate affiliate, okay? Son of Sticks, which is the Knight of Wands. What's emerging for you? Youthful energy, being loyal, being loyal to what's balanced, being creative, 
Some of you could have a real selfish, confused, indecisive energy moving rapidly towards you. It's because they want some of the balance that you're going to be bringing in. They're going to want to put on like we could split pot responsibilities. I'm a reliable partner. Whoever you think is a reliable partner, you need to let them go. Someone's going to come to you as if they can adapt to what's happening and they're not really able to their player. A message from the universe from a high vibrational Capricorn full moon lunar eclipse message from the universe three of wands in reverse you're not going to be able to go anywhere if you don't take reverence to your biggest fears and accept the truth about illusions and deception that had you in the eight of swords from the beginning all right high vibrational capricorns thank you for taking the time to invest in watching my channel don't forget to hit the like button Subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.